Good morning, DCS First Grade. Today is Wednesday, and we are going to continue talking about our book, Owen. So if you have not seen our lesson from Monday and Tuesday, make sure you'll go back and view those first, and then come back to today. So today we have a new target, and our target is, I can determine cause and effect in a text. Why don't you try to read that with me? Ready? I can determine, that means decide, cause and effect in a text. Great. Now these are some big words in here, so I want to break down this target a little bit for us. So today we're talking about cause and effect, and those are big words that have to do with events in our story. A cause is the reason why something happens. An effect is the result of what happens. So I want to show you a video of me playing with Mac, and we're gonna talk about the cause and effect in this video. So go ahead and tune in and watch my screen. What's this? Can you sit? Mac, sit. Good boy, ready? Go get it. Oh boy. Awesome. So in that video, we saw that I asked Mac to sit and he sat down on the deck and then I threw the ball for him and he went and chased it and got it. So each of those things that happened have to do with cause and effect. So if the cause is the reason, which is why something happened, and the effect is the result, what actually happens. I want to think about what I just did with Mac. Mac ran and chased the ball. That was what happened. That was the result. The thing that caused him to chase the ball was that I threw it. I threw it for him. That was the cause. The effect is that he chased it. The other thing that happened is that Mac sat on the deck. That was the effect. What happened? He sat. The reason he did that is because I asked him to. So the cause is that I asked him to sit. The effect is that he sat down. The cause is that I threw the ball. The effect is that he chased it. So I want to show you a picture down here that I've got to think about this idea a little bit more. When I start a garden, all my flowers are really, really small. Maybe they're just little buds, but I have to water them and give a lot of sunlight. And then the effect is that they grow. So the reason that my flowers grow, this is what happens, the effect, the reason it happens is because I watered them and because the sun was out. So this cause results in this effect. All right, so my friends, we're gonna talk about this a little bit more today with our story, Owen. I already started thinking a little bit about this actually. And the one thing that I remembered in Owen is that Owen loved, loved, loved his blanket fuzzy. And that's something that happened. That's an effect. The reason why Owen loved his blankie so much is because he had it since he was a baby. So it's so important to him. So the cause, Owen had his blanket since he was a baby. The effect, he really, really loved it. Awesome. So there are lots of causes and effects in the storybook of Owen. So we're going to read it again today and we're going to try to talk about the causes and the effects that happen in the story. So please go ahead and listen to the story. And now, Owen. Written and illustrated by Kevin Henkes. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He'd had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all his heart. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen. And Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, applesauce cake. 
Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around? Asked Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific, big boy gift in its place. Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said Owen's mother. No wonder, said Owen's father. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy's torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect. And Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. Bet you can't see me. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. Can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of Fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. Owen sniffed it, and smelled it, and sniffed it. He picked a new favorite corner. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around his sandbox, buried it in the garden, and dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it, and wore it, and dragged it. He sucked it, he hugged it, he twisted it. What are we going to do? asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry and would not stop. Don't worry, said Owen's mother. It'll be all right, said Owen's father. And then suddenly Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First, she snipped. And then she sewed. Then she snipped again and sewed some more. Snip, snip, snip. Sew, sew, sew. Dry your eyes. Wipe your nose. Hooray, hooray, hooray. And now Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. And Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing. All right, friends, welcome back. So we just watched Owen again for the third time. And I really like rereading stories because it helps me to notice something new every time. And I realize that I learn more and more words each time I see a book again and again. So that's why we're still reading the same story. And there's always something more that you can do with a good book. So I'm really excited to show you what else we can do with Owen. So today we're talking about cause and effect. And we talked about how um, a cause is the reason something happens. Mac went for the ball because, or I'm sorry, I threw the ball and that made Mac go and get it. So that was the effect. Mac went to go get the ball because I threw it. So we used an example from Owen's story and I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer so we can see it. And I said that Owen loved his blanket with all his heart because Owen had his blanket since he was a baby. 
So this right here is the cause of him loving his blanket. He had it since his, he was a baby and that's why he loves it. That's the effect. So I have a whole bunch of causes and effects that we want to try to connect together. So I want us to think about why these things happen, okay? So let's read our first one, ready? Owen put Fuzzy in his pajama pants. That happened at the beginning of the story. And why did Owen put his fuzzy blanket into his pajama pants? What was he trying to do? Let's think. Oh, that's right. I do remember at the beginning of the story, Owen was worried that the blanket fairy was going to come take his blanket and he didn't want that to happen. So that's why he hid it. So this right here is an effect. He put the, the blanket in his pajama pants because he didn't want the blanket fairy to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a line to connect those two. Owen did not want the blanket fairy to get it. Those two go together. Awesome. Let's keep going and reading some other ones. And I want to think about the order that things happen in our book. So let's take a look at this bottom one. It says, Owen rubbed his blanket in his sandbox. He rubbed his blanket in his sandbox. Why would he do that? That's the effect. But there's a reason why that happened. Do you remember? Let's think. Okay, can you share? Why did he rub his blanket in the sandbox? Oh, the corner was in vinegar and he didn't want it to smell anymore. That's right. So let's see if I can find that. Owen rubbed his blanket in his sandbox because <gasps> Owen tried to make the smelly corner not smell anymore. That's right. Good thinking. I'm going to connect those. Awesome. All right, let's go on to this one, ready? It says, Owen buried his face in Fuzzy and would not stop crying. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Why was Owen crying so hard? Well, what was the cause of that? Do you remember, can you tell me? Oh, that's right. Owen really, really wanted to bring his blanket with him to school, and his mom and dad told him that he couldn't. So that made him really sad, and he was crying. So our cause is Owen really wanted to bring Fuzzy to school. The effect is that he buried his face in Fuzzy and couldn't stop crying. All right, let's connect those. And then let's think of our last one. It says, Owen finally stopped crying. Why did he stop crying? Let's think about this. Owen finally stopped crying because, what did he want to do? Yes, I'm hearing some great things. So Owen finally stopped crying because his mom had that great idea to make his blanket into smaller handkerchiefs so that he could bring the handkerchief with him. I do remember that. That still makes my heart feel so happy every time that happens. So let's make sure that these connect together. Owen finally stopped crying because Owen's mother had a great idea. Yeah, that's when she made the handkerchiefs. I'm going to connect those two. Awesome. Wow. Good work thinking about this story today, friends. I'm very proud of you. So we just talked about how we can determine cause and effect. And I'll remind you, the cause is the reason something happens. An effect is what happens. So let's take a look at our target one more time. It says, I can determine cause and effect in a text. The text that we're focusing on today is Owen. So if you go into your Google Classroom next, there is an assignment that you are going to be matching some cause and effect events together from Owen. So go ahead and get started right away. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.